status quo, quo, quo is simply so, so, so. And if you say, 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 there is no way, way, way to make it go, 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 then I should know, know, know that you are pro, 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 profiteering from the status quo. I'm told I always miss the point. I'm told I never see the point. I'm told that there may be no point. I'm told to never disappoint. I'm told to mind, to mind my own, my own business. And I respond. The status quo, quo, quo is simply so, so, so. And if you say, 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 there is no way, way, way to make it go, 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 then I should know, know, know that you are pro, 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 profiteering from the status quo. I'm told I cannot turn my back. I'm told to turn the other cheek. I'm told beat the other guy. I'm told to love my fellow man. I'm told to mind, to mind my own, my own business. And I respond. The status quo, quo, quo is simply so, so, so. And if you say, 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 there is no way, way, way to make it go, 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 then I should know. You are pro, 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 profiteering from the status quo. Yeah. Well, that piece was written by Herbert Brun, and um, we're going to perform three other pieces. The total duration of the program will be about 20, 25 minutes, so it won't be too long. Um, each of the next three pieces involves uh, the stipulation by its composer, its composers, some kind of structure which is then explored. And so they're all composed, they're worked out, and they all have scores in different ways. And the intent with postulating and putting forth structures to explore is a little bit against the tendencies of structures that, that we all live in. Um, the social structures that we live in offer certain behaviors and certain various things. Many of us are teachers and we get stuck in certain structures. And my most concise formulation of the problem of teaching and the problem of teaching within a structure is that my students listen to me despite what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, meaning that they listen to the, the social function. They listen to, they're obedient to that structure rather than to anything else that might be going on. And that includes rebellion. The rebellion is to the structure <coughs> and not to the content or to the thought. When, in those few instances when I do have a thought. <laughs> Um, so our exploration of structure is in the, um, in the attempt to find out what possibilities might happen if we rearrange things drastically. And what could we extrapolate from things that we have to things that we don't yet have and might wish for. Okay? So you'll hear that going on in all these three pieces. In the first piece, which is um, written for three toothbrushes and three toothbrush performers, what you'll hear is a structure that moves from elements that have three states to elements that have two states to elements that have one state. All right? So you'll see this decay happening, if you call it a decay, um, within that piece. Um, the second piece is for text, and you should all have copies of the text that will be read, and there will be sounds that go along with the text. The text was treated with one structure that is static, and the sounds were treated with another structure that is not static. And the two are placed in opposition to one another, those two structures. The third piece is a theater piece written by Ben Cap. Um, and in that piece, the elements of theater were explored. Well, what are the different elements that one could describe in theater? 
what Ben described uh, and what the piece explores is the possibility that you have actors, well, how many actors you have, in this case, four. You can have the possibility of characters. Well, how many characters can four actors play? So that's explored. And then you have the possibility of scenes. Well, do scenes have to be sequential? Can they be simultaneous? How many simultaneous scenes can four actors perform? So you see all these different possibilities are there. And so uh, Ben's piece explores some um, potentials of these possibilities. Okay? Um, the reason to do so is to find new ways of having pleasure, too. Uh, the, one, the more one knows of a field, the more one can predict in that field, with Shannon and lots of other things. Um, and so the fun for people who know a field well is to postulate things that preserve the potential of pleasure. So I hope you have fun. Oh, yes. So uh, by way of example, in, in this piece for three toothbrushes, there are three pitches for the toothbrushes. So this is the high pitch. This is the medium pitch, and this is the low pitch. <laughs> Can you hear
renaming names the namer, just as he names the thing he names. But the thing he names escapes his naming, while as its namer, he remains its name. The things the namer names may be of two kinds. One, they, they may be things which cannot name the namer in return. Their language is silence. And, and silence is the name with which the things name their namer, even as they escape his, his name. naming. Two. Or, the things the namer names may be things which can name the namer in return. Here there are not two kinds, but two possibilities. A. The namer, the namer who is named may return the naming either with, with a new naming or with an echo of the old. B. Or the namer who is named may not return the naming. In this case, there is a twofold result. Roman numeral one. The namer who is named, but does not return the naming, names his namer with silence, and thus assumes the nature of a, of a thing, thing whose, whose natural, natural language is silence. Roman numeral two. Oh, did I page fall down? Uh, it did, but this is it. Because, because the neighbor's naming is returned, returned with, with the natural silence of things, but by a neighbor, that neighbor's silence may become his, his name. name. In this way, I, I distinguish, distinguish people from, from things. Even, even when, when people are things. Every naming names the namer just as he names the thing he names. The thing he names escapes his naming, while as his namer, he remains its, its name.
I have a lot to do already. What'd you say? Please, keep your comments to yourself. I should be the only one talking here. Hey, you in there? Whew. Sorry I'm late. The freeway was so icy. Hope I didn't miss all the food. I brought the pumpkin pie. That's a good first impression. You're big blind, by the way. Look at this. I see you once a year, and that's the first thing you say to me. Ten bucks in the pot. Listen, buddy. We had this conversation. I can't loan you any more money. Well, I think it's time you raise the stakes at these little games of ours. Besides you, you will at least break even. Probably. Before we begin... Debbie, good to see you. I'd like the judge to note the tardiness of the witness. Well, I'm sorry I'm late. You look beautiful. Who needs a beer? Oh, great, yams! It's too early. I still need breakfast. So, Mr. Chen, you claim to have seen my client having parties over the course of the month in question? Will you just shut up and deal already? Hey, 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 come on, we're all family, right? But I can't get started yet. I still need to make coffee and... Hey, Angie, how's school going? Just read the paper for a while. Well, you They'll just be stick it out. Once you're through with high school, you're gonna be free to pursue your passion. You got the birthday gift I sent, right? So, Mr. Chen, you claim to have seen the birthday party. And it was after that that you found your car, the red 1995 Dodge Neon, in the swimming pool? Hey, Bozo. Pay attention, it's your turn your still. Honor, please. No, Debbie, it's fine. I did miss the party. You know, Ange, I'm sorry I missed the party. Sounds like it was a lot of fun. Let it be known that my client did not see any Dodge Neon in any swimming pool. Dave, you'll like this one. So what did the Chasers game with Ramona? Judge. Yeah, yeah. Really two this more ball, hours. this ball ricochets off the ref's shoe, nearly pulverizes this old lady sitting right in front of us. Your Honor! <laughs> she has got cola coming out of her nose. It's a complete catastrophe. Your Honor, I do not understand how this digression with my client pertains to the witness or to the case. <sighs> Listen, you two, calm down! Can't we just have a nice dinner? <laughs> you know, I don't feel like going out to do anything today. I think I'm coming down with a cold. Yeah, yeah. I feel it coming on right now. I better lie down. Great, you two. You know, you can't even keep it together for the holidays. Listen, and you can't blame yourself for this. I know, I know, I'm sick. I have a cold. What can I do? Yeah. Maybe tonight after my nap, I'll have enough energy to study. Okay. I'll nail down that thesis once I've ruminated on it during my nap. Yeah. <laughs> you know, come to think of it, I should finish that article on REM sleep ruminations. On the grounds that my client is too ill to continue, I'd like to ask the court for a one minute recess. Fine. It's down the hall, first door on the left. Can you believe I took that pot with a pair of twos? <laughs> you are going to be in so much trouble. Hello, are you listening to me? What? Don't pretend like you can't hear me. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. You are terrible. I saw you. I saw you looking at everyone's cards. What? Which cards? My courtroom notes? My client has a lot of money on this game, and you are a cheat. I have to be completely unbiased. You should be held in contempt of court. You're just inviting all your friends over to steal from them. When it comes to courtrooms and card games, I don't have any friends. You could lose your bench over this. Excuse me, uh, whose room is this? I'm a bit lost. Oh, good. You're here. I need help. Okay. So what's the matter? Well, it's this paper that I'm writing. I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Why are you bothering with academic work right now? Why don't you just come back to the table and enjoy yourself? But I've been procrastinating all morning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You mentioned yams. Your mom said you made those delicious yams. Yams? Don't coddle me. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Hmm. Well, we're stuck. So how about we put you on some gravy, you know, just to loosen things up a bit. I don't need to loosen anything. I need to sharpen and focus my thesis. 
Okay, listen to this. Based on this line of musical evolution connected to systems thinking, I've attempted to develop a systemic model of symbolic music. Wait, wait. So, so what do you mean by the maybe um, the symbolic music? information? I don't know. Music notation. I don't know. Well, listen, Ange, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to lie down, down, and I'll come get you when we're having pie. I fold. Come on, Dave. God, you guys all give up way too easy. Well, it's no fun when you take all of our money every week. You made it seem like we had a chance this time. Yeah, I'm out of cash. Exactly what he wanted. Cheat. Cheat. <laughs> what did you say? We, we know, James. Mark saw you check everyone's cards every time you got up. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, James, we talked about it. We know you've been cheating us every... Ev time finding work, so we just decided we were going to consider a donation. No hard feelings. As <laughs> if I would invite my friends over to steal from them. <laughs> Are you sure you're feeling well enough to continue? <coughs> yeah, I can go on. So, Mr. Chen, would you say that you liked your neighbors, who my client, Mr. Foster, was house-sitting for? Yeah, we got yeah. along for the most part. Yeah, if you count all those loud parties as getting along. Oh! I don't want to hear any more outbursts from you, please. Miss Peterson, will you please control your client? Judge, I am. I said, let me, me do the talking. This guy is full of shit. You know what, buddy? I could see all the freaky shit you were doing there. You should use blinds. Mr. Chin, I have no, no. qualms about removing you as well. Please, Mr. Chin, did you see, see. my client in your car, the red 1995 Dodge Neon? No, I did not. But how and why else would my car have wound up in their swimming pool all while he's throwing this lie? And um, so, uh, with this musical model that I've um, attempted uh, to develop, uh, it makes it possible to um, utilize systems thinking. Thank you, Walter. That was very interesting. Forget it! You may sit down. Do you feel better, honey? Yeah. I think I ate too fast. I missed the toilet a little bit. <laughs> well, you just take it easy. I'll get you some sparkly water. Well, uh, sure hope you still feel up for pie. Yeah, you know, I should really get going after pie. Oh, I don't know. You could always stay in the guest room. Yes, we'd love to have you. <laughs> the ice gotta go. Go. Oh. Me? All right, boys, I'm all in. Well, then who wants pie? It's too early. 
I still need breakfast. And to just read the paper for a while. Please keep your comments to yourself. Hey. 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 Ah. Hey. hey. It's obviously a cry for help. Hey. We're almost done here. Now let's see those cards. <laughs> Shit. What he... No. Don't know what you're talking. Been cheating us. I could see. Did you? We? Um... Well, you just stick it out. You got the birthday gift I sent, right? Mr. Chen, please stop coddling my client. Will uh... you all quit stalling? But I can't get started yet. I still need... What did you say? Breakfast. Please, keep your comments to yourself. Hey, no, that, you in there? <laughs>